Hello everybody and welcome to Fire Force episode 7, 7, 7 anime review. Uh, I find it really hard to review this show. Just, I feel, honestly I find it kind of hard to write things to talk about. Because a lot of it is just sort of action-y. And it, I'm still enjoying it, it's just hard to review. I think I've, I think I would be enjoying, I don't know, this is a good show, this is a good show. We have Return of... That cat girl this episode, she actually put some clothes on this time. I, you know, big fan of her putting on clothes. Uh, what else do we have? Well, we'll, st we'll start at the beginning. Let's just go through it. Uh, you know, business as, no business as usual. Let's do this. So the 5th and the 8th are now having a cook-off or a barbecue or a cookout thing after all that. I did like, big fan of uh, Hibana, like, treating that guy like crap and then just being like, Shinra, Shinra. That was a terrible impression, but she's like, nice to shimmer, and then just kicks this dude in the foot or whatever. Big fan of that, that was good. Um, Hibana is now like, hey, the 8th have got my support. I can't throw the whole 5th at you because that'd be suspicious or something, but I will personally help you out. Uh, basically, she then says, hey, Shinra made me good again. That's good. Shinra is a good guy. There's someone causing human combustion. They found that out from the research. And... Uh, then she swears vengeance on whoever caused the church fire. She's like, if someone caused that fire, I... Ve vengeance! Revenge! And all that. Uh, but yeah, then she said, the one caused... Sorry. The infernals that are mostly caused by humans, they're all appearing in the jurisdiction, or the area of jurisdiction of the first group. First fire force thing. So they're like, oh man, they're going to take out the first already? I thought you'd build towards the first, unless they're... This is a red herring and they're actually just good guys. Which could could very much be the truth. Or it's just one guy. We'll find out at some point. Not this episode, but later. So then we have everybody's favourite, bath time. I'm not going to dwell on that too long. They had a bath. They were naked. Um, then, right, the plan to get rid of the... Get rid of... Deal with the first is... There's a some sort of training plan thing, training, trade thing. They're going to send Shinra and Arthur to the first undercover to investigate as, you know, you know, do their thing. They arrive there and everything. Mackie's there too. I guess she's like the chaperone because they're too young, I guess. I, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't really get that. Then they run into a guy that says crap and ass a lot. And it's just, he just says the same word a lot. And Shinra's like, his insult's not even an insult. I've, I've deduced this. He's just saying that crap is crap and a butt is butt. Big fan of that. Big fan of, Shin, big fan of Shinra using his brain and not getting just offended like Arthur did. I, I, found, I think I liked it more when Arthur got offended and Shinra's like, no, let me explain this to you. That was good. Uh, but yeah, then they get introduced to the captain and everything and all the lieutenants or whatever and Shinra's like, 1v1 me bro basically he's like let's have a let's have a spa and the captain's like okay we can do that let's go outside though because god doesn't want us to fight in the church hey remember that cat girl she's like mad or something that because the captain doesn't want to doesn't spa with her but she's he's agreed to spa with shimra hooray still still don't get her like i don't understand what cat has, cat ears and that has to do with fire and why she doesn't wear any clothes i know anime but i want to reason damn it even if it's a stupid reason, I'll I'll take a stupid reason over no reason. Uh, but yeah, then they, there's some fights. There's a guy from the second who is scared of fire, but he has fire missiles. And then there's another dude who could stop fire and turn it to ice with the power of sound and a trumpet or something. That was weird. I was fine. That's unique. Shinra, then Shinra's like, I suspect everyone. I don't know who it is. Is it one of you or is it all of you? Then Shira and Arthur both fight the captain. Arthur's like, I've got this. Can't cut through him. The Excalibur gets extinguished. Shira charges in and then the captain defeats him by taking a step. He's like, you have much to learn. And then he literally just steps forward and the force of it hits Shinra in the gut. So I'd like, is he making steam or something that's with enough force to punch him? Like, what's the, what's his power? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I do not know. Um, but yeah, then the guy, the the eighth ones, so Arthur and Shinra, they get put in the in the charge of the guy who says the same word over and over again, and he's um he's like, all right, I'm in charge of you guys. Uh, you gotta do what I say. So 
they're going to investigate him. I don't think it's going to be him is the one that is behind it. And I don't think we're going to find that out for a few episodes. Uh, I'm, just, I'm sure the cat girl will like challenge him to a fight. I think she like kicked him in the butt as well after the, he finished sparring. Like, why not? And she keeps like tripping over and stuff. I don't, I don't really get what she is. <laughs> I, I don't... I know she's just a person, but like she's... Maybe it's her. Maybe she's the bad guy. I, I don't think so. I think... I've just got a feeling she might be recruited into the 8th at some point, And I don't... I don't know why, but my gut's telling me that. That's what my gut says. I think the one that she likes... The one with like the starry eyes... I think he might be the bad guy. And then she'll be like, oh my god, I've been tricked. I've been deceived. Uh, but yeah, that was the end of this week's episode. As I said, I enjoy it. It's really hard to review these, I think. It's hard to think of things to talk about, honestly. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. There's loads of other reviews and loads of other anime. They're everywhere. Um, thank you everybody for watching. I will see you next week. And bye, guys.